Here's basic weaving on a cardboard loom. This video will let you stop and start as you need to. You need a piece of cardboard and a pair of scissors. I like to mark my lines with something. I used a crayon in this case. 11 or 12 lines across each side is good. I just want to cut a little bit into the cardboard and you'll notice if you're looking carefully that I started to get off of my marks. Oh no, but it's not really that important as long as you have the same number of marks on each side. It takes about 15 feet of yarn to warp or to wrap around this loom to get it to work. So I can just pull it right out of the skein and notice how I'm wrapping all the way around the board. I want to do that because I need the extra yarn in the back. Whoa! I've wrapped everything and now I'm going to turn it over and that little tail I left will help me out. I'll let these overlap a little bit and I'll cut it. You need to learn how to make a square knot. Here's a lesson. You can repeat this part of the video as often as you need to to practice because it's a super important and useful knot. I'm going to tie these two ends together with the square knot or sometimes I tie a little bow. And now I'm ready to start weaving. I can take a hunk of yarn. It's a little messy like this. So sometimes I grab a little piece of cardboard, I cut a notch in it, and then I stuff my yarn in that notch, and I start to wrap. And that makes it easier to work with. When I weave, I'm going to be thinking of the pattern over, under, over, under. So here I go. I'll pick up the first one, Pass over the second one. I'll pick up the third one and go under it and pass over the fourth one. And I'll just keep picking up every other black thread. Mm, I kind of sped up there until I've gone over and under and over and under them all. And I'll leave a tail hanging out on that side over there. So now I'm going to turn and go back the other way and this time an easy way to remember what you're doing is if I see my yarn went on top then I want to go underneath. So again I'll look and I'll say it's on top I'll go underneath. On top underneath and I'll keep that pattern up all the way across. When I pull I want to leave it kind of loose over on the right hand side and then I'll stuff it down with my fingers and I've made two rows now. So I'm going to keep this pattern up where every time I see the thread that I'm working with I'm going to go underneath. If I see it I'll go underneath. If I keep this pattern up the whole time I'm going to just be able to go back and forth plenty of times until I can start weaving some fabric. So I'm speeding up my film. I can't remember where I am. Oh, I'll just check. And I like to keep my finger down to keep my edges from getting pulled too tightly like that. You don't want that. So keep it loose on the edge. So I'll just keep going back and forth and back and forth. It becomes really relaxing. But at this point I want to change colors. So I'll pick a new color. I have some blue and I'm going to take my red and I'm going to weave about halfway across. So I'll go under a few and then I'm just going to let a tail kind of hang out like that. I'm picking up my new color 
and I want to tie the two of them together. So I'll trim this off and now it's just like before when I worked on a square knot. I'll put the left over the right and turn it under and put the right over the left and pull and I have a nice square knot. Looks just like the picture. If I want to I can trim these ends off. I'll tell you a secret. You're looking at the back of your weaving right now. So having all these knots doesn't matter. In case you want to see what it looks like if you don't use a little piece of cardboard, you can always just weave with the yarn as it is. I make a little loop in my right hand. Oh, here I am remembering. I see a color, I pick it up. I just will be pulling a little bit more with this thread. So here I go. And you may like this better than using a piece of cardboard. And I'll be going back and forth. See how I keep my finger anchoring it? And I think I'm about to speed the film up a lot. I'll just keep going. Oh no, I pulled too hard again. That makes it messy. So easy to fix. I can just pick at it and press it down again. So you'll use your fingers to keep packing your yarn down so it gets nice and solid. Now I'll just keep going for a while, but I might actually run out of the color I'm working on. Oh no. Here's what you do. You leave a little tail of it that you think that you can tie a square knot with. So however much you think that is. This one looks like I could tuck it back around one or two more times. And then I'll pick up my next color, or the same color if I wanted to keep going. And, you guessed it, I will be tying a square knot. That's how important the square knot is to this project. And I have these little tails hanging off. I can leave them as they are. I can trim them. As long as I'm working around them, it doesn't matter because remember you're looking at the back. So I just keep going. And I'm going to wrap up this section of the video and just let you weave. So it may take you a few hours, it may take you a few days, but just relax and enjoy yourself. So I'm weaving along here and I'm thinking about my project and I think, oh, I want it to be symmetrical. So I might measure the colors that I have to see if I can make them the same on the other side. It's whatever you'd like to do. So I'm almost at the end of this sample now. I'm getting up close to the end. And what am I going to do? I have these two ends. It's time to cut things off. Because I tied a bow, I can undo it, but I can also just cut it with scissors. So here I go. I'm going to cut right up through the middle. And I'm going to flip my board over. And I'm going to change the background color so you can see. And I'm just going to very carefully pop these out. Notice how my left hand with the rings on it is holding the weaving down. Once I've gotten everything popped out, my loom, I'm done with that. You won't believe it, but we're back to square knots again. Take every two ends that are together hanging out and do a left over right and a right over left to lock your weaving in place. Move on to the next two and again you'll do left over right and right over left and you're going to repeat that all the way around the edge. Now when you get to the end you're like, oh I have this extra red thread you can do two of them together. So I can take one thread on the left and tie a knot with two threads on the right. 
and that way I get my extra thread or my extra yarn all caught in there. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side and now my weaving is all locked into place. Notice how my knots are showing in the middle of the weaving where I changed colors. The nice thing about this is that you can flip it over. That's the wrong side. This is the right side. Oh, I see one pesky little thing that I can push through. Otherwise, it is beautiful. My trim that I have might be the length I like, or if not, I can always take scissors and I can trim it a little bit. So here I go, I'm cutting these off. My hand's kind of in the way. Here we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. And I'll just continue to trim off everything that I have all the way around the edge. And that is one side done. Just repeat the other side and you are good to go. Congratulations on finishing your first weaving.